until you find another way of looking at this nothing's going to shift in you and unless something shifts then your experience can't change until suddenly you have an understanding and then you feel different and when you feel different then you attract different and when you attract different then you experience different manifestations so that's the whole objective here in this really important topic the more delicious life is often the more things that you want to experience in it the more experiences you want to have so the asking part is not a hard part when you don't have enough of something you know that you want more source recognizes every time you ask now here's an important thing source knows what you're asking for and only has a vibration about what you are really asking for so this is interesting when you feel like you don't have enough money and it causes you just for a moment to send off a rocket I would like more money meaning I want more freedom I want more experience your inner being becomes the essence of the freedom and the essence of the experience your inner being extracts from that vibrational contrasting experience what you do want because that's what your inner being does your inner being never focuses on the drama or the trauma or the trouble or the lack ever so from your from your synthesizing of life you are emitting pure desires that your inner being is recognizing focusing on and taking as inner being point of attraction now do you accept there, there's you and your inner being do you accept that your inner being is offering a vibration and that law of attraction is responding to your inner beings vibration just like law of attraction is responding to yours so when you ask for more prosperity your inner being immediately becomes the equivalent of more prosperity but if you don't immediately become the equivalent of prosperity vibrationally as in being optimistic or anticipation then there's a vibrational difference between you and your inner being and that's when you feel doubt or fear or worry or jealousy or anger or whatever those feelings around money often are but you've got to find some way of syncing up with the way your inner being feels about this and when you do now there's no contradiction in your vibration there's no tug of war going on now you and your powerful inner being are standing in the eye of the vortexual hurricane that law of attraction is causing around you and more money is coming to you but in your anticipation positive anticipation you're letting it in you're not keeping it out now that's just the law-based explanation of how the money comes to you now another way that we are wanting to explain this to you is that when you feel good you're in sync with your inner being and when you're in sync with your inner being that means you're in what we're calling the receptive mode of what your inner being has already amassed and attracted so if you can accept the prosperity that your inner being already is then you can be the receptive translator of that vibrational prosperity into the manifestation of what you want this non-physical aspect of you that exists that is attracting the things that you are asking for to this specific vibrational context that you now have ready access to this is a reality but because you can't translate it yet then you often see absence of money rather than presence of money even though there is a vibrational presence of money how do I turn these thoughts to things because I can't spend the idea of money I'm worried I'm afraid so what does that mean so that means you're not looking at the money that's coming in the way that your inner being is looking at the money that's coming where does anything come from everything comes out of the vortex you are a lovely bunch of people on this planet and you are trucking no resources in from other planets <laughs> and yet your economy continues to expand where is it coming from it's coming from life and from asking so this is the part that we're really wanting you to hear so can you accept at all that there is a vibrational version that you have not realized yet if you accept that it's there then this is the question that we want you to contemplate if it exists in vibrational form how does it become a reality how does the idea of prosperity translate into something that is in my bank account how do I turn those vibrations to those thoughts to those things how does that happen 
well it happens by your practicing the thoughts that allow it to turn to those things not practicing the opposite of those thoughts when you say I'm afraid there won't be enough that's practicing the opposite of the thoughts and we know oh it must drive you crazy Abraham if you were standing where I'm standing look at me what I'm looking at you'd feel the way I feel and we say we know that what you're living feels so real because what you are feeling is turning to things all the time so if you don't feel like there's enough money then that's the way it's turning out and then you say see I was right this worry was valid this worry was accurate because I worried about this and this is the way that it is see I'm right I'm right to worry and we say the universe will respond to the vibration that you emit so you have to show yourself something different it's there how are you going to get it out how are you going to be the realizer of it well you've got to understand that it's broadcasting to you if you can understand creation in terms of broadcasting and receiving broadcasting and receiving broadcasting and receiving broadcasting and receiving so your inner being is broadcasting prosperity but you're broadcasting doubt how's that working out your inner being is broadcasting one thing you're broadcasting another can you set your radio dial on 106 FM and hear what's being broadcast on 98.7 can you receive from a different frequency you've got to line up with the frequency that your inner being is broadcasting so that's the first big question that we want to put to you do you believe that through your life you have created a vibrational version of your prosperity and that your inner being stands holding it knowing it being it and broadcasting it and since your inner being is broadcasting it what does that mean about your inner beings experience relative to law of attraction if your inner being is broadcasting prosperity what does that mean is coming back to your inner being that vortex is dynamic it's dynamic it's growing it's big it's riches that you cannot identify yet and it's real so you want some of it just a little of it please there's enough in your vortex to keep you thriving for 20 or 30 lifetimes that's how dynamic it is that's how big it is and you want some of it how are you gonna get it you got to tune your tuner to the frequency of what your inner being is broadcasting which is what we're calling the receptive mode you got to get in the receptive mode you've got to think like your inner being thinks in order to be in that receptive mode you can't be focused on the absence of what you want and tune your tuner to what your inner being is broadcasting and your inner being is not going to change its broadcast to match yours ever your inner being is going to stand in your prosperity you got to find a way to be there too so let's talk about you being in the receptive mode so the receptive mode means you've got your tuner set for something and if you're walking around in this world like most people what you're observing is what's causing you to, to set your tuner different things that are happening in your life if you're aware when you're doing it now money is the hardest thing really because that's the thing that you've been worried about the most for the longest and that's the thing that you've activated a bunch of vibrations about usually that you're not going to change overnight but you can change them and you must if you want the prosperity that is due to you you've got to cash in that vibrational currency and the way you cash in your vibrational currency is by finding a way to line up with it which means right here right now you've got to make the decision there's gonna be another and another and another and another and another and another, and another but sooner or later one of these nows that you're standing in the middle of you've got to be willing to give up your arguing for your limitations because every time you say I can't or I haven't or it's hard or nobody that I know is doing it then you're just practicing setting your receptive mode to something else so if your receptive mode is not set to this frequency what's it set to this one this one this one this one this one there's plenty of frequencies just like on your radio stations and your vehicles there's lots of different frequencies it's endless that dial is long and endless you can set it to anything along the way so how do you know where you've set it how do you know where you've set your tuner two ways how you feel and what's happening and both are good ways to know so if prosperity isn't flowing in incredible abundance to you 
knowing what's in your vortex as we do you got your tuner set in a screwy way and the reason that you do it's usually for a couple of reasons one is the habit of just observing what is what is is compelling we know that it is bills are compelling when they come they get your attention we know that what you're observing is compelling the other reason that is because you still don't believe in the vortex you don't believe in the vortex reality in the same way that you believe in the bank account reality the bank account reality is just more obvious everybody including your banker your credit card holders they all believe in your current reality in other words there's so much to observe that believes in your current reality and your current reality does not mean diddly squat that is what's temporary that's what's temporary that changes 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 but the thing is that it's changing it's dynamic and with just a little bit of attention to stay in your lane just a little bit of attention things will change somebody else even somebody who lives with you might be looking at it differently than you are you can't let that affect your vibration although in the same way that it's not easy not to let a bill affect your vibration it's not easy to not let somebody else that is feeling strongly about something affect your vibration but that's what your true currency is that's what you're cashing in all the time that is your pathway to the abundance that you seek a positive attitude is the pathway to the abundance that you seek and it's not an iffy pathway it's a sure pathway and it's not a long slow hard pathway it's a much easier smooth pathway you just got to find some way of changing the way you feel about it which means you cannot face reality which means others are going to say to you hey you got to get your head out of the clouds and you say no that's where my vibrational currency is right that's where my abundance is I have to focus in a way that I feel prosperous and this is the most important part of this discussion you got to get out ahead of it you've got to get out ahead of it vibrationally you don't have to get out ahead of it financially you've got to get out ahead of it vibrationally out ahead of everything vibrationally don't wait until you're in fear to try to do something to get yourself out of fear when you wake up in the morning you are not in fear until you think the thoughts that you were thinking yesterday that lower your vibration so get out ahead of it get out ahead of it by caring about how you feel and then the two ways that we were saying that you'll know how you're doing what your vibration is how it's turning out and how you feel now how you feel will be dominant how I feel how I feel how I feel just do whatever it is you need to do in order to keep yourself feeling better I do feel better about this so now if you feel better about it milk that just a little bit get that momentum going I'm doing all right and I'm pleased with what we're earning or what's translating and we'd like to say to you that the true earning that you're doing is not what you're doing through your action the true earning that you're doing is what you're doing with your vibrational balance it's your vibrational balance and you got to know that you've got to know that because look at the difference in what people around you are receiving in terms of money you can't explain it through their action can you you've all got the same 24 hours in a day and you're all limited to that degree of what you can do and yet the difference in what people are receiving is enormous you've got to understand that they're not earning through their action and they're not earning through their education and they're not earning through their context and they're not earning through some way that's immoral or illegal they're earning through their vibrational translation of the vibrational currency into their bank account you earn with your attitude you earn with your mood that's how you do it.